just out of Castle Main in Victoria is a Penny Wright Flat Cemetery. It's a cemetery with only kids in it from the Gold Rush era. Storage of water and contaminated poor water diets and frequent accidents took a heavy toll. Between 1852 and 1857, 200 bodies, including children and babies, are buried here. It's not a very happy subject, I know, but it's pretty interesting. Go have a look. So called because the penny weight's a small measure of gold, no wealth was sacrificed to establish the cemetery. The site was so barren it would not be disturbed by fossickers or miners. Mm. It's part of our history, I guess. Not a great subject, I know, but something we'll have a look around and have a look. So this is coming into it. That's a, I don't know if you can read that. The Penny Wright Flat Children's Cemetery. 1852. 1852. 200 children buried here at the Gold Rush. 1852 to 57. This is in the actual cemetery. Yeah, look. Got a little dolly there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not a great subject. It's a bit, you know, dark. But, you know, this is what built the nation up. This is what people did. They came out and they toiled hard, got the gold. But with all great ventures, there's sacrifices and it's babies that died. It's sad, but, you know, it's part of our history, I guess. And there are all these little. Oh, look at this one. There are all these little. Little bubble ones. Little pots. Or maybe a little toddler. 200, 200 babies. Babies and infants. Babies and infants from the gold rush era of 1852, 1857. Oh, look, this would have been a baby. So. Mm. Would have been a newborn. Good firewood over there. Is that on here? Off topic, but anyway. Yeah. This is just outside, so over that way, in the distance there's the back of Castle Main. There's a there's a hill and the town's in the actual valley of the hill. <coughs> Runs up that way through the valley there and kind of stretches all the way down there so that's all Castle Main, <coughs> oh, city of Castle Main, Victoria where we're staying is just over that hill it's classed as a city classed as a city in 1940 something I think goes on population size I believe so the end there. What? So that's in that's in Irish writing. I believe that's Irish. My Irish is a bit sketchy, so I think it's the only daughter who ended life ended on September. No date. Only daughter that life ended on September, I think that translates loosely to, but there's no actual date. So this was established in 1852, so it could have been 1852 that she passed away, sadly. John? Just John. Just John. Yeah. So. Uh, it's part of history. Look. And history has good and bad things happen in it. It's what forms the world. Can't dwell on the negatives. But it's a original cemetery. And it's still standing, which is quite remarkable really. In memory of Henry Baxter. Yep. May 28, 1852, aged one year and nine months. Oh. Young Henry, one year, nine months. Yeah.
They wouldn't have had plaques back here. No, that would have been put in. Those plaques would have been put in by historical people, maybe, like a history. Family or family, generational family came up and put a plaque there. Because in 1952, they wouldn't have had plaques like that. They wouldn't have had plaques, exactly. But yeah, it's uh, overlooking the property down there with horses. Back of Castle Main, back over there. Yeah. The only way you know that the graves, some of the graves are here, by the rock formation. Yeah, you only know there's a grave there because there's a shape formed in the ground and it's over 200 years ago this was formed so nature's done its thing and rebuilt. There's one up here with a headstone, I might go and have a look at that one. And this is Hugh James Bearley. He was aged 14 months. There you go, that again, that would be a relative that would come through, generational relative that came through and Put up a put up a plaque for their forgotten fallen friend. So here's another Irish. So that would read erected by son memory of the person who died on January 1855. That would have translated to. What does it translate to? So erected would be erected. Son, memory of the person who died, who died, 10, T, 10, 10 January 1855. There you go. I'm having a great guess at it. I think <laughs> there might be a bit of guessing in there, but we're going back 200 years and people's education wasn't as high as ours today. They very much did things by sight and sound in those days. So their spelling wouldn't have been the best and it would have just gone like sounding it out. So 10 would sound like a T, wouldn't it? Anywho. We've got erected by John Skillicorn in memory of daughter Mary who died at 8th of February 1855 to 18 months old. Oh. Also, Elizabeth Carr Biss, who has passed on the 30th of January 1854. She was 12 months. Aww. This is the sort of hardship they went through. 200 and longer. 250 would be... 20... 54 would be 100... What was it? 1857. So that's... 100... 57, 145 years ago, nearly, yeah, it's a long way back, but like I say, this is how the, the nation was formed, it was people who came out and had a crack at gold digging, miners. and miners, and all those type of people that went forward, challenged with all the diseases they had in those days, they didn't have any vaccinations that we get today. Yeah, your hooping coughs, your TBs, your polios would have knocked a whole lot of them off. Modern medicine's advanced a heap, but this is this is what formed. Yeah. This is how this is how the country opened up in those days. They they settled in Sydney Harbour. And you had people who ventured out, like Blacksland and Burke and Wills, and Lawson, explained all, explored all through the Blue Mountains. And had they not done that, we would have remained in the Sydney Cove area and probably not ventured far because we had no idea what was beyond. It was people who had the imagination to explore that opened the country up to what we know it as today. Penny Weight Flat. Restored and fenced in 1929. So it took them 160, 70 years to restore it. And it was a public subscription, so people would have put money towards it to preserve it. And rightfully so. It's an outdoor museum, really.
That's what it is. Yeah. We've got a mill. Just a simple stone with a mill written on it. Hmm. 